Alrighty YouTube, it's your boy Zeuxis and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video and as you guys read from the title today we are going to be going over the mini game. Some people are having some issues with it. Um, I'm not gonna lie at first I was like what the hell am I supposed to do but it's pretty straightforward. So I've already done three of them. I have uh, two more left so we're gonna complete all that in the video. It's actually a pretty cool mini game. All right, it's actually a pretty cool mini game. So essentially you're hacking the data in these spots and then you have to actually go there. So I guess I will just show you. So when you click on these, it will say, you know, time limit 30 seconds. You're probably just waiting 30 seconds and like, okay, where's the rewards? Where's the rewards? But actually when you click on it, there's a picture with it. You have to go to that location and then you're going to see uh, an area. So in hacking data one you go to the picture that's there on the map right so it's actually a mini game you use the map in the mini game or in the event for the mini game so here we have to go around this area uh the residential area which is where pascal should be right where it's right here so when you come around here you're supposed to see the mini game icon uh that's not it here so this is a mini game icon if you see this that means you're at the location you're going to click this and then you actually end up playing it right you, it's like one of these shooting things so what you do is you start moving around and your goal is to try to like break all of these as much as you can you have to kind of break everything um you have to literally break everything before the timer runs out or you will fail so you don't have 30 seconds you don't have to wait 30 seconds you only have 30 seconds to break everything and then break the ball in the middle right so it's quite simple it's not that difficult. Um, maybe some of them will get difficult. It's getting harder and harder. Obviously, the first one was way easier than the, you know, the, the fourth one. But it still seems pretty simple. It's cool, right? You get gems from it. It's not that much gems, but it's 30 gems, I believe, that just stack up. So, yeah. And then you also get uh, common consoles, whether it's Tetras and Normals, Pilgrims, whatever. So, in this place, we have to go around here. I believe that's at the top left yeah so we'll come up here boom travel the map you travel the map and then when you see it which is right here then you're hacking it so the fighting part of this this part is hacking it so you see that ball that has a shield around it when you break everything then um you actually are able to go ahead and break that so i have to break all these and then boom it's open and then i destroy it and boom i beat it Right, so it could get a bit uh, it could get a bit hectic for most people, um, maybe not and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool mini game. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty cool mini game, um, and it does open accordingly like to time. It's not something you could just do all at once. So if you guys look here, uh, I believe stage seven it will unlock until or yeah stage seven will unlock until reset, stage eight will unlock until reset, and then boom. So these you have a lot and these go accordingly. So every day at least you have something to do, right? Um, so we have six left, right? So we have to go. Um, I don't know what area that is. I think that's here. How do we get there? Is that there? Yeah, it is. So we go here and then boom. It's a pretty cool mini game. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty cool mini game. So we have to break these and you can't really control it. Like it just automatically shoots what's there. So you can't get hurt. Um, like you're just able to control the movement of these. Um, so that's what it is. You can't get hurt. You just control the movement of these. Um, and then they start popping up on you and then boom, boom, boom. And there we're done there. So that one had a much of way higher cooldown, I think, or time rate. I said 40 seconds there. Um, but that was very, very easy. So now we're up to date with the mini game, right? Um, yeah we're up to date with the mini game and then there's these right so a whole bunch of boxes are piled up in a certain uh in central plant on the first floor of headquarters accident uh is about to happen and then stuff like that so you actually like if you play the game it's so i feel like and i feel like if you guys play near and then you're playing nikkei and you actually understand what these are and what they mean by this like it, it's so much cooler i don't know i feel like if you're playing near because you just like to because of r34 right and you like don't actually play the game right maybe you're still gonna have fun but i feel like for the people who play near you're gonna have more of a connection to all of this because it's like they have taken so much stuff from even just the early parts of the game right like i'm understanding 
because again i haven't finished near i just started playing it recently myself uh for this collab or because of this collab um and literally everything that i've already been through i'm seeing it in this event so they clearly just go off of the first part so if near has a demo right if near automata has a, a demo maybe you guys should go play the demo because i think just the demo alone should teach you um everything you need to know but yeah i'm not gonna lie like this is all stuff that i don't know i just remind me of like where i'm at where where i was this is like the starting point of near right uh like the game and stuff like that the map is so cool the ost is heavenly though like let me mute it like listen to this And then the OST on the theme, like the home screen is actually so good. So yeah, W event, um, W collab. I think this is all very, very cool. And remember, you have 31 days to do this, right? We do have 31 days to do this. Actually, there was a PV um, and I didn't get to react to it. So let me pull that up. And I want to add that in this video for this like kind of overview-ish video and the mini game video. Alrighty, so yeah, they dropped like a full blown minute and 24 second PV and I forgot about it. Um, I was supposed to react to it on live, but that's not going to happen no more um, because I won't be able to go live as much. But so let's see it. Let's see in this video. I didn't get to see it. Not this one at least. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not this one. Okay, Pascal. So we've seen this part already, but this is an extended version, I guess. Oh, let me look. Nice. Fun fact, Rappi and Tubi have the same voice actor. Shockwave. I see. Okay. Nine S W character. A two. Product twenty three. So it was an extended version of the other uh, thing. So I guess they were enemies fighting each other and then they just joined forces because Raptors came into play. Pretty cool, right? This whole collab is just a W, bro. I'm so glad we're not that other game. <laughs> My, I have Grand Cross friends, like I have Grand Cross YouTuber friends, and they're all in shambles because they're having a collab with AOT, and they're just mad that it sucks. <laughs> so I'm just so happy, bro, because I always need to have one over those guys, bro. So hey, W collab, hey, Nicky on, put Nicky on top in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Love, peace.